All right, April is the month of the military child. It's a time to celebrate the more than 1.5 million military children who face unique challenges and experiences because of their parents' service. Anne-Marie Doherty from the Bob Woodruff Foundation joins us today to tell us how the organization is helping the children of servicemen and women. So thank you so much for being here today. Good morning. Good morning. So first up, can you tell us about the foundation? Sure. When Bob Woodruff, a news anchor reporting on the war, was hit by a roadside bomb back in 2006, he sustained a very serious traumatic brain injury. Thanks to excellent care, including from military medics, Bob recovered. But during his journey, his family saw the impact service can have on veterans, families, caregivers, and the positive benefits to all of us. So that's when the family resolved to help make sure that all veterans can have successful futures and the Bob Woodruff Foundation was born. Which is amazing. And the foundation recently announced a million dollar investment in military children's mental health. Tell us about that. You know, um, mental health in our country for our kids is something we're all paying attention to. But if you look at the unique circumstances of military kids, so that's kids who have a parent or parents on active duty, they've got some extra things that are making life a little bit trickier. So we're paying attention to their mental health. They've got the parents deploying, multiple moves, not having the same doctor over a length of time. So we made that commitment to dig into the issues because we heard that 43% of military parents were saying that one or more of their children had poor mental health. And that's a number that's simply not acceptable. So how can people support the foundation or become involved with the foundation? I always tell people military kids are among us. You know, we have the Guard, the National Reserves. You might be living, especially in the DC community, you probably have military kids in your school system. So I say, pay attention, make friends. Let's look at how we as a community can support our military kids. And then of course, if you want more resources about how to have great mental health programs in the schools or outside the schools with your families, you can go to the Bob Woodger Foundation's website, bobwoodgerfoundation.org. We've got a ton uh, set up there for you to take a look at. And there's something, different levels of help that people can contribute what they can. Tell us a little bit about that really quick. Absolutely. You can get involved at a national level. You can also get involved with organizations in your own backyard. We're partnered with Pathways to Housing DC. That's an incredible organization locally that you can get involved in. And I just say, make that connection. Check on people. It never hurts to ask. It does. It never hurts to ask. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and for all of this information. And for more information, make sure you visit our website, dcnewsnow.com.